Hello YouTube, my name is Hero and today we're going to be discussing the new updates that came to the Korean version of Black Desert this week. Now, before we start talking about this, I just want to say that I did make a video entitled Black Desert Online Striker, Female Striker is 99% real and unfortunately, Kakao has actually taken that video down and claimed it as a copyright strike which is completely out of their rights because there was no content in that video that had anything to do with them but the fact that they took that down may even further prove that striker may be a real thing female striker may be a th real thing and they were just trying to take the video down temporarily for uh surprise reasons i guess like that they don't want people to know about it but it's not my fault that their shit's getting data mined seriously so um i've submitted a claim to youtube and the video should be back up eventually but for the time being just want to let you guys know that i didn't delete the video cacao actually took it down actually the korean cacao took it down but it should be back up in any any time uh, hopefully so there's that now back to the topic at hand so the first important and uh, very interesting thing that happened in uh, korea is that they've actually increased the they've actually increased the 200% exp bonus from 30 minutes to 60 minutes so instead of having 200% for 30 minutes you get it for 60 minutes a day which is very big it's going to allow people to get a lot more exp than than before if, if you just use a daily login if you're a daily login person you're going to get a lot of exp for an hour so that's very good that they've added that um and the next thing is with the militia system. Now, I made a video about the militia system a few days ago. However, the militia system got changed a little bit, and it seems that this is going to be the permanent system that they've decided to go with. So, if you don't know, the militia system is basically a system that allows you to join a siege guild on siege days in order to help attack or help defend on a territory. Now, what they've done since um since militia system has been released what they've done to balance it is they've made it so that the defending guild only has to defend for two hours and then if they do that successfully for two hours they automatically win however they've also made it now where if you destroy an uh, a gate of the fortress you will add on a 30 minute timer so if you destroy one gate it will add 30 minutes so instead of the defending guild have to defend for two hours they'll have to defend for two hours and 30 minutes just making it a little bit more balanced so that the guild doesn't just be able to camp for the whole time okay all guilds now can participate in the militia but you can only go to the defending side if you have a node in the territory so say for example if you wanted to go to a calpheon defending siege you'd ha you'd have to be in a guild that owns a node in Calpheon. However, if you wanted to go on the offense in Calpheon, you don't need a node in Calpheon, which is very cool. So that means everyone can participate um, rather, than rather than before where you had to actually own a node. And the guild members that are participating, before they could automatically attack militia members, they weren't able to not attack them, but now they have to actually press Alt-C to attack them. So that's cool. The defending guild and the defending militia can't attack each other and the attacking guild and the attacking militia can't attack each other either and of course you won't have to worry about any karma if you actually flag up and militia can't attack anyone even if they flag up so only militias can only militias can only attack other militias they can't attack the actual guilds so that's also very interesting and there's also they also changed the respawn location for the defending militia I'm um, not sure where the attacking militia will spawn, but the defending militia spawns near the castle. So basically, it's pretty much very interesting, you know. Um, just another thing that's been added to the game that's very cool is the militia system. I hope you guys are excited for it. It's going to definitely add a lot more in-game PvP for those players who don't have uh, those big, you know, who aren't a part of those big guilds that get to participate uh, it's going to be a freaking crazy Zerg fest when it comes to NA, unless there's more limitations that they're going to add on later on. I'm not sure, but it's very interesting. So those are the two updates that are really big in the Korean version that uh, I think are going to change uh, quite a bit of things going on. I just want to let you guys know about that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them. Also, big shout out to my patrons. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for the support. And thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. See you guys next time. It's your boy Hero. Peace.